What's going on DMG clan today? I'm gonna show you guys how to play legacy Minecraft Which is not being played on any emulator by the way. It is just being played on Java edition Minecraft with a mod called legacy 4j This mod allows you to play like you're playing on the old Xbox 360 console edition PS3 edition Whatever edition you remember this lovely menu in yeah, I love this menu. My favorite menu. The reason why is because the Xbox 360 edition was my first ever edition that I really ever played on. So today I'm gonna teach you how to set this up properly with an application called Amethyst, which is a launcher that allows you to play Java Minecraft on your Android device. So let's jump in and learn how to smash some pumpkins like the Smashing Pumpkins did. You get it? Are you old enough to understand that reference? Probably aren't, because you're Gen Z, aren't you? So the very first thing to take note of is that you get the latest version of Amethyst, which is found in the description of the video. Don't know where the description of the video is? Then learn how to use YouTube. It's below the dot dot more button. Now, once you've installed the latest version, which I already have, then navigate back to Amethyst. And after you've also installed Amethyst and set it up, video also linked in the description of the video, then create a new profile. Create a fabric or forge profile because Legacy 4J works for both. Now, I'm gonna tell you one thing, lower forge profiles like 1.20.1 have issues and you have to enable a specific setting. So go to your settings icon, go to your controls. Now this device has a built-in controller and if you're using devices like the AYN Odin 2, the Odin Thor, the Odin 3, whatever handheld that has a built-in controller, make sure that you set your controller style to Xbox, okay? Make sure it's set to Xbox mode, and then you can go into your custom controller settings, scroll down, and then you're gonna see a option that says enable SDL controller backend. Now, the big thing about this is that the forcibly start SDL backend is only for older versions. Now, I noticed with 1.20.1 with Forge and Fabric, it bugs out if you don't turn this on, but I'm gonna use 1.21.8 as of today and make sure that you have enable SDL controller backend enabled right here and that it's checked off. Make sure you've also set up your keybind. So if you haven't done this yet, then do that. And then you can install a Fabric instance. So I'm gonna install Fabric, the 1.2. 1.8 that's the only latest version that legacy is available for right now and click install now what i'm going to do here so that i can do organization go to my pencil icon go down to my custom path create a folder and i'm going to name this legacy 4j okay just like so create that folder select the folder and render mobile glues of course and internal 21 and save now I'm gonna click on play just so that I can load all of those folders and files that are recommended to be put into those legacy 4J folder. Okay, now quit the game and we're gonna navigate back to Google Chrome. We're gonna go to Modrinth and we're gonna install the three mods that you're gonna see on screen. Those three mods are Fabric API, Factory, and also the legacy 4J. So Fabric API is the first one and legacy 4J. Now that those are all downloaded, navigate back to Amethyst. Go to Open Game Directory, go to your three lines, go to your device name, go down to your downloads, three dots on the top right hand side, sort by modified newest first. Grab the Factory API, the Legacy, and the Fabric API. Click Copy to. Three lines, Amethyst. Go down to your whatever you named your folder, mine is called Legacy 4J, mods, and copy it in there. Now, exit out of everything, go to Play. Now click OK on this little notification and wait for Legacy to load. Now that Legacy is loaded, you have to use the touch controls for this part because every time you go back into the game, as of right now at least, hopefully the developers fix this, you gotta click OK with the touch, go to help and options, go to controls, controller, and then make sure with the controller handler to click on the little slider to make sure that it sets to controller handler SDL3. Now. I can use my built-in controller or my Bluetooth controller just to play the game and everything works. You can use all the triggers and everything. You can jump into the world. You can test out everything to make sure it works, but everything just works and the controls just work. So there you go. That's it. Nothing else really special about this. It's something that somebody asked 
how do you do this because they were having issues and right now like i said i'm just using the built-in controller you can use a bluetooth controller the same exact way if you want me to do a video with a phone and a controller then let me know but again this is just how you play legacy minecraft with a controller on android in 2025 not sure why it's rendering so badly that's probably because i didn't go and set up my graphics but there we go. Have a nice day. Hope you enjoy playing Legacy Minecraft like I do. And if you have a brain, you could probably play some horror mods with this too. If you want to. Isn't that horrific? Bye!